Well, it looks like we're all here, so if you don't mind, let's uh, call this meeting to order. Uh, today's the uh, 29th Finance Committee meeting. Uh, and uh, in attendance, we have myself, Amy Fiden, Paul Benjamin, Valerie Hood, Alexi Levine. Oh, we are missing one person. Where's Dylan? Um, and Dylan um, Barstow Mans, I do not see as of yet, but maybe he will jump on. It is one minute um, before, so we'll just take it nice and slow. <laughs> um, the uh, topic just tonight, we have only one topic and uh, that will be um, DPW and uh, Scott McCarthy's here to represent DPW, which was awesome. And, um, and so uh, I think uh, we can have Dylan, you know, maybe we can call it an early, you know, hopefully it'll be one of our earlier meetings and, um, and uh, if Dylan can catch up on anything he might've missed <laughs> at the, uh, later on the TV. <laughs> so, I say, let's get going. Um, Linda, will you, you said you're gonna be putting it on this, on our I share will. screen. I will, I will. I'll, um, it sometimes takes me a moment. So let me just go ahead and get started while you talk. Let's see, I think I did it better this time. Oh. How's that? That's looking good. Well, just right. to, a tip to whoever does this. Last time I was trying to do it from my flash drive and it was just uh, it was just not working. So I find it's much better. You go ahead and take your flash drive and download it to the desktop and it works better that way. Oh, so, okay. For any of the rest of you who do this. So. Uh, yeah, I, I've never tried it. So I'm, I'm thankful that you do it. <laughs> I'd like to think it gets easier, but that's not always true. Okay. Okay. So if um, we thought we actually did meet briefly this morning, we thought maybe the easiest thing to do would be to um, just go in order and, and starting with the general budget, general fund budgets, which are the first ones. I, I did send them to you. I don't know if I got them to you in time, but the general fund budgets for DPW are the highway, snow and ice, street lights, building maintenance and cemetery. So there's five general fund budgets under DPW. And then we have the two enterprise fund budgets, sewer and water, which we can do um, probably be better if we do those afterwards. Mm -hmm. So there's highway. Can you try to see if you can make it any bigger, Linda? Just a um, little bit. Yes, I won't show the whole thing at once. So I'll, let me just go to the whole thing at once and show you that the total budget there. So you can look down and see the bottom numbers there. So that the request is, uh, the recommended request is 903, uh, $70,000 increase. And then I will go back up. How's that? Whoops. That looks better. Okay, I have to, I'm going to change another margin here. there okay yep and i'm just sending something back to dylan he just said he's running a little bit late just getting out of work so uh i just said join us when you can so all right great so um i don't know if you talked you and uh scott if you want to go over this linda what the highlights are if scott wants to or however you would like to do it I think Carolyn and Scott were going to uh, get together on this one. Is that right, Carolyn? <laughs> Amy, do you want to go line item by line item? Or do, you want to, uh, do you all have specific line items that you want to look at? Well, I mainly go, line, you know, especially if there's a, if there's no, absolutely no change, I guess you could probably skip some of those, but if there's changes, um, it's just easier to have you just say it so we're not asking the questions okay. if you just 
Yeah, and and I'm just um, if I could just take a minute just to kind of give you a little background of um, the work, the approach that we took, and I, I think I've explained to you all before. Um, we really met with each department to go over what was spent year to date, to look at, and then to forecast what was going to be their what expenses they were going to be expecting till the end of the of the fiscal year. And this this uh, budget was. A lot of work has gone into these seven budgets um, that Scott oversees. Um, I just want to thank Scott and, and to extend the gratitude to his um, staff, Stacy and Jennifer, who sat with us one afternoon for hours just to go over it. Because if you remember, we've had a huge transition in DPW. And this is really it almost feels like a brand new budget. We really dug deep. Um, You'll see some line items that are gonna have a really big difference either up or down. And part of that is um, not knowing the history on how the, so much of what was, how Chris managed the budget. Um, and then really Sharon before that, um, we, we really had all the players in place to really know where things were getting charged and what, and Scott brought his knowledge of what his anticipated costs were going to be. So, um, You've got my recommendations for the salaries is um, a 2.5 um, increase. Now I can't address the uh, those that are in the union because we're in negotiations. Um, so what you'll see there is the 2.5 percent that I'm recommending for all, for all of the employees for their cost of living increase. Is that everyone including union or not including union? The 2.5. Linda, the, the calculations, did we automatically put those in we there? Just, we did decide to apply them to all of them so that we weren't leaving any group behind, recognizing that there might be changes later, but it would at least get us. Um, more for more for budgeting also, purposes. Yeah. So right. we have, yeah. Question. Um, does the federal government determine the cost of living increase? So the cost of living increase is actually a calculation um, that you that we most municipalities use, but rarely follow because um, actually the cost of living increase is I think significantly higher than the two point five percent. But we really wanted to um, be as our, knowing what the revenues were. Um, this is what I think is the best cost of living that we can provide right now. Okay. Has there been an analysis done or um, any feedback on um, the salary range and where we are in salaries compared to other to other areas? Have we had any feedback on that? So uh, I would say we are in a consistent um, challenge with all of the departments. Uh, I would say, yes, we are not competitive in the DPW department with other towns or cities. Um, so what's happening is when we are hiring a new employee for DPW, we are consistently hiring at the top of our, our um, steps because um, it is at the top of our range is typically um, below some of the entry level positions in other communities. So we are looking at that. Uh, Deb and the new HR director will be trying to really start to hone in on that. It, it's, a, it's a ton of work for each position to compare um, to comparable towns. As you know, Hadley is a difficult town to compare to. Um, it's, it's, you know, it always comes up in every conversation. It's not a small town, but it gets compared to a small town. Um, so uh, DPW, I would say, um, is also facing the same challenges about our being competitive with our, with our um, our salary ranges. Okay. And so the next line is the administrative salaries. Is that just the, the 2.5? Yes. And same with the other regular salaries. Is that just the 2.5? Yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm all set with, with all those. I don't have any other questions on salaries. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. 
So Scott, do you want to, um, let's, I, I think it's really important that we hone in a little bit on vehicle repairs and maintenance. Yep. Um, actually, the next, the next, the next three are going to be important for you to yep. share what you're experiencing. Uh, so vehicle repairs and maintenance, uh, this year we had 77,000, uh, we're asking for 70 for FY 23, uh, we do have a high or pretty pricey fleet to maintain, but we do have a couple new vehicles in there. Uh, so we're hoping that we could, uh, we can decrease that a little bit. Seeing we did purchase, purchase uh, one new vehicle and we have another one on order and the year before we were able to get one. So we're just, uh, looking to decrease it a little bit. I think we can do that. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, so yeah, we're, I'm hoping that 70,000 will be enough. Okay, sounds good. Uh, street and pedestrian ma way maintenance. Uh, we're looking for a 25,000 increase from uh, 60 to 75, uh, or I'm sorry, 50,000 to 75. Uh, what's happening is we have two line items and as we go down, uh, public work supplies kind of goes with it. And sometimes we purchase things like asphalt and things like that, that we're looking to make a repair on a roadway the public work supplies and not public or street and pedestrian way maintenance. So I'm looking to increase that budget so we can uh, purchase our uh, materials and things out of the proper line. And uh, uh, obviously, as you guys know, it, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a cheap thing for us to do to uh, maintain the streets of Hadley. So uh, prices of things are, going through the roof uh, very fast. So Scott, is that, so you're talking about that's paving? The it, it, it's, it's our, it's our like patchwork, uh, doing potholes, uh, wow. uh, little patchwork and things like that. Okay. The, the stuff, the stuff that you would see the DPW crew on the street doing, not a contractor, uh, just, just our general, uh, you know, pothole repairs, uh, uh, painting, you know, crosswalks and fixing catch basins and manholes that are falling in and uh, just our, the highway department's uh, daily uh, routine kind of stuff. Okay. So you're, so you're saying there's the reason the, you know, it's the same thing we've always been doing, but the prices have gone up. So that's why we need to budget a little higher because of the supply. Yeah, and, and like Amy, when we moved down to the other one, uh, the public work supplies, I, we did decrease that a hair because we're asking for it to be a bigger line item uh, up here. Mm -hmm. So we, we just oh, sometimes yeah. buy things out of the wrong account also. Okay. And, and just to clarify, some of that was having new employees and the transition and just learning where uh, it's, it's a big budget with lots of line items. So, and some of them are similar and we have also tried to clean up the wording. So it's consistent from this to water to sewer so that, you know, gas isn't gas, it's vehicle fuel. Or so we just tried to click, um, clean, clean it up a little bit. And with that, it made more sense to allocate certain expenses to a line item that more appropriately reflected the expense. So that's where you'll see some of the, the, um, the ups and downs as well. Keep going, Amy. Is there any, okay. yeah, just. Oh, you're doing you're doing great. I, I'm just okay. trying to get some of them, but if you wanna yeah. just. Right yeah, off, uh, <laughs> yeah. Equi equipment and repairs and maintenance. It's another one. Uh, we're looking to increase it. Uh, it was two thousand. We're looking to go to five thousand. 
okay. or, or seven thousand, an increase of five thousand. Uh, that's that would be for chainsaw, uh, lawn mowers, uh, things of that nature. Uh, small equipment here that uh, we we have to maintain in the DPW. Again, uh, the increase is kind of just to go with the times that uh, our parts and everything are really going up uh, extremely fast. I do have a question on this one for you, Scott. If this, because I think if I'm, if I remember right, we have the lawnmower possibly going as far as you want a new lawnmower for under capital, right? Yes. If, if we get a new lawnmower, would we, you know, and maybe we fund this too, but then you might not need it all because you have a new lawnmower because that lawnmower is costing you a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it is. But we have we have the two other ones uh, that we have currently also, the smaller ones, and uh, just their preventive maintenance on it, Amy, was, we're trying to do it better and more often too that's another thing that you know maybe some of our equipment failures here are due from uh you know the maintenance intervals aren't soon enough uh okay so that was another thing we we're looking at to try to increase our maintenance interval also to try to get a little more life out of the things we have okay i like it all right we'll keep going yeah Property related services uh, were just, re, uh, I'm sorry, it look, we're looking to remove that. It's neg, uh, I think we it combined 43. it, Scott. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, we combined that. Uh, police details, that's, you know, just for us to hire traffic officers to do our, our work when needed. Okay. Uh, tech support, I believe they we moved that because uh, most of that's handled uh, through the town hall. Right. Engineering and architect service uh, was twenty thousand. We're looking for fifteen. Uh, I feel that uh, some of the projects that we have in the pipeline are already partially funded so i think we'll be good with a little less there okay. uh the physicals and and uh drug testing uh the prices have gone up for that the uh the guys require uh dot physicals and drug testing so we're looking to increase that by 820 dollars uh here's a here's a big one uh the arborist vegetation management. Uh, we are at forty thousand. Uh, we're requesting sixty-five and increase of twenty-five thousand. As you can see, uh, this year we're, we've already spent fifty-two thousand. Uh, the the trees are a, are a very big expense here to uh, remove. Uh, most of the tree calls that we get. The trees are beyond pruning and trimming and they turn into removals and most of them are, I don't know, about four feet in diameter in the bottom. They are very large and very costly to remove. Okay. Uh, the uh, I do have one question and if you don't mind, this is, and it's kind of more for Carolyn, um, physical and te drug testing. I, I don't remember seeing that on the police or fire. What, DPW is, has to do it, but the other departments, or did I miss it? I just didn't realize that. Yeah, so um, I don't remember, Amy, but if they every department's going to put something like that a little different in there, they might have it under a different light item. And I, I'd have to look at how it was labeled. But it's a good question, So because we'd like to be consistent. So we'll, I'll take a look at that. So you can I, I was just... I didn't realize DPW had to do it. And then I thought, well, yeah. if they have to do it, I would think the others would too. Yeah, I'll Amy, take a look at that. Amy, yeah. with the guys with the CDLs, we, we have to follow the, the federal guidelines. So that, that's a federal requirement for us. Yeah. I'm not, okay. I'm not sure what the 
police and fire uh, guys. I think just one fireman has a CDL over there. So, but we have to follow that. It's a federal thing. Yeah, interesting. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, The next one would be uh, ditches. Uh, We've, uh, in the past, it was uh, a town meeting uh, article. We've, uh, Chris would look for it there. Uh, We just, we've asked to, uh, just put $15,000 into our regular budget so we don't have to ask a town meeting every year for uh, money to maintain the ditches. Uh, Dike maintenance, uh, it's something that I've been working on with Carolyn and the engineers. Uh, it's, It's going to be a very expensive task. So we're looking to start with uh, 23,500 to kind of get rolling on that. The telecommunications has been reduced from 6,100 to 4,500. Can I I ask a quick question uh, on the dikes? Did, sure. did, did we end up funding the $150,000 uh, flood flood control study that was going to look at the dikes and what the deficiencies were, et cetera? Yeah, it, yes. yes. And, and that's who's identified that we have a significant need to increase uh, the dike right. maintenance. And I, this is actually the lowest. There's three different levels, three or four different levels. This is the absolute lowest level. But I felt it was a it was a starting point. But, so, yeah, that's that's fine. I just was curious yeah. how it related to that, and and just are we where's that is that report due soon or just no? They're in it. It's it will take a while. This is uh, they did all the inspections uh, this fall, which is where they identified all the some some of the right. issues that need to be addressed. So right, no, we're thank a you. little while from that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't want it to go too long, but I just quick question. All right, yeah. thank you. And Carolyn, that's going to continue from year to year, year right? This is yeah. this is the we're, that's why it's going into the operational budget because this is not a one-time thing. This is now going to be an annual maintenance uh, of at least that much, or at, at least there'll be some bigger items to get it up to a baseline. That would probably be a much bigger expense that we'd address funding differently. Uh, yeah, telecommunications. Again, uh, we're. It was $6,100, we're looking for 45. Uh, the software staying the same. Uh, office supplies, we, we it was 2,400, we dropped it down a couple hundred bucks to 2,200. Uh, vehicle fuel, we increased it by 10,000. Was it well, last year was 40? We're looking for 50. Uh, hopefully, that's enough. Uh, the Franklin County bid has not bid fuel yet. And as you folks know, uh, there has been a major increase in the fuel price. So, hopefully, that number is going to be enough. May I, may I ask a question about that? Um, yep. I, I was reading um, the school board's budget and they talked about how fuel oil has more than doubled. So I'm wondering, is this enough? You think 10,000, you know, maybe fuel oil and uh, vehicle fuel are priced differently, but I wouldn't have thought that difference would be that, that much. Well, I guess, I guess it, it, it did double in price, but um, we're, we're hoping that it is coming down a little bit and we do have a little bit of time before this still goes back out to bid through the FERCOG. So maybe maybe the buying power and stuff we can get, a, they'll be able to get a little better price. It's kind of an unknown. I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of number to put on that. I, I, okay. it's, just, it's just such an unknown. Okay, thank you. Uh, the public work supplies, this is uh, kind of I talked about with this uh, street pedestrian ma- way maintenance. Uh, it was 40,000. Uh, we're looking to 
bring it down to 35, uh, seeing that we're asking to increase the other budget. And this is this is more for, uh, you know, as it says, supplies. Uh, to you know, uh, paints and oils and you know, smaller things uh, the DPW uses for uh, general road maintenance. Okay. Uh, uniforms. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be an increase from the vendor, so we're staying the same on that. Licenses this do is the same, and and that wraps up the entire highway division budget. All right. Any questions, anyone? Oh, no. Perfect. All right. Sounds good. If you want to just keep keep on going, you're doing sure. fabulous. All right. Thanks. Okay, so I, I think just by, by switching tabs on, do you see snow and ice now? Yes. Sir. Okay, good. Uh, again, the snow and ice uh, salaries and things, uh, we're in a negotiations for that. So it's, uh, Linda just uh, mirrored what we had. It's, it's, it's kind of an unknown right now. Uh, the contract services, uh, we left the same, uh, the, the whole budget's the same because it's just, we're hoping it's it's good, but once again, uh, the price of salt and things that go along with it, it's just, it's an unknown and it's, it's, it's so far out. So it's hard, you know, you can't get a read on it, I guess yet. So we're just, we're looking to leave it the same for now. Right, you can see that 21, was actually lower and I don't know, uh, 2022, 20, we might end up, Scott wasn't sure if we were gonna go quite to the top there, but really the thing we ought to be doing with the Snow and Ice account is doing the highest, most recent one. And it was, 20, this is the amount that it was in FY20. This is one of those budgets where, I think it's the only budget, we can, over, we can overrun without additional vote, but it comes out of free cash, um, but you don't want to under, um, we don't want to it to go the other way. So the safest thing to do always is, is to make it be your most recent highest amount. Okay, so it looks I, like to me, like you're taking what you're doing pretty much is when the guys are exhausted, had enough is enough. You're instead of doing the overtime, you came down on the overtime and you're just going to contract it out. So yeah, that sounds that's, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, uh, it, it's a work in progress too with that. So uh, once again, hopefully these numbers are going to be good, but uh, have to wait and see what we get back from for some uh, outside contractor bids. And I, I was just looking for you to, uh, I know obviously it was a mild winter as far as shoveling snow and stuff, but uh, the DPW did go out 27 times for uh, either plowing or just salting in general. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah. All set. That is a question that people ask. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I had more accurate numbers. I'm not sure what I did with them. Uh, I know David Phil did a little uh, question and answer thing and someone had to ask and I gave them a little better detail but I forgot what they the numbers were but we did go out 27 times. Scott, can I ask you a question about the use of salt yep. in our town? Um, you know, outside my house there was a, a giant sugar maple that had to come down and um, the guy who took it down for me said that we're losing a lot of sugar maples in town. And he didn't know if it was because of all the ice, of all the salt that we're using, or if it's you know climate change or some other thing. I wondered if you had any any thoughts about that. Uh, I think I think it's just a thing for the sugar maples. Actually, last week I was at a tree wardens meeting, and people did talk about it. Just like, just all over the area in general, a lot of sugar maples are dying, and it some of it's insect related, you know temperature change and things of that nature. Uh, 
I'm hoping that the salt's not doing it, but you know, I, I, I really can't say for sure. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's just not here. It's, it's all over it. It was a topic of conversation, uh, last week. So it's not just along the, the streets. It's, it's, it's more inland as well. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. They're having a trouble all over with it. Okay. Thank you. And most of our trees that I have trouble with in town are a variety of a maple, whether it's a sugar maple or a silver maple, but those are the seem to be the trees that I'm having the most trouble with here in town also. Yeah, and when you were talking earlier about how expensive it is to take those trees down, I was wondering if <clears throat> maybe if we reduce the salt a little bit, maybe we wouldn't, we could reduce the you know the number of trees we have to take down too but it sounds like that's not really the the, the problem necessarily if they're if if the trees that are away from the streets are not are also having the problem it's probably not that yeah small. the the uh the the salt usage is uh it, it's a lot more complicated than what people think uh in in a we're, we look for applying 250 pounds of salt per single lane mile. And that, and that is a number that, uh, you know, snow and ice engineers have come up with saying that that's a good reasonable amount of salt to use here in the Northeast. Uh, and we do calibrate our trucks every year to, to meet that specification. So uh, when people, you look out your window and you see, you know, there might, you're thinking there's a lot of salt or whatever. Uh, it is a formulated amount that we are applying to the roads. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All set. Move on. Yep. Thank you, Scott. Uh, the, the next one, uh, street lights. Uh, as you know, uh, we're going to be owning the street lights here soon. So it's a the nineteen thousand we're asking for. It's a brand new thing. It's just a a maintenance item. If we have to do any maintenance to the uh, new street lights, that's uh, going to be on the DPW. It's no longer. The electric company, nineteen thousand, just for uh, maintenance if needed. Okay. Should we split that the line item then? If it's not just the electricity costs, should it, there be a maintenance line item as well for this moving forward? That's a good point. I think the way it's going to be voted at a town meeting, it's going to be expenses. So um, that's the way it will be on, on the cover one. But I, I think you're right. Um, we will probably, uh, we can change that. We don't know exactly how it's going to break down now, though. So this is going to be the learning year. For sure. I know switching to the, the LED bulbs, I know that's been talked about a bunch. I'd be interested to see how that electricity cost comes down. It would be uh, useful to compare past years to the future years. All set. All set. I'm Building all set. maintenance. Let me just. We're gonna skip the enterprise. Um, uh, we okay. we're going to do it because it's out of a different fund. We're doing the general fund ones first, fine. if that's all fine. right, and then we yeah, will go fine. back. <clears throat> that's fine. Just making sure you didn't miss it. By no, answer. we will not <clears throat> miss it. I have to change the margins here because this is a long one. Uh, this one's done by building and yet at the, when you go to town meeting you vote on the bottom line for the expenses for maintaining the building but for budgeting purposes you can see it's done for the different buildings okay so go ahead scott yeah uh obviously the building maintenance salary is just based on the uh cost of living wage increase uh custodial equipment purchases uh it was fourteen thousand uh, four hundred. We are looking to decrease it to ten thousand. Uh, most of the uh, custodial equipment is 
relatively good shape and uh, we feel that making purchases, uh, we can decrease the budget. Uh, the, su the supplies are going to be the same. Uh, in here, uh, we'll move into the senior center. Senior center building maintenance. It, it was $5,500. We're requesting uh, 15, uh, which is an increase of 9,500. Uh, there, there is some contracts in place that we have to fund uh, for uh, like the automatic door to go in and out of the building. There's a service contract on that. Uh, there's a service contract on the HVAC and things of that nature. Uh, so we need that funding to, for those contracts. Uh, the custodial is going to stay the same, 14,400. Uh, town hall building maintenance. Uh, staying the same, looking to stay the same at 17,000. Town hall custodial, the same again at 14,400. Uh, the Goodwin uh, maintenance, uh, it was 5,000. Obviously, you folks know the building is uh, relatively empty, just upstairs has the channel, the Hadley TV in it, so we're looking to cut that in half to 2,500. There's very little maintenance now that has to be done there. Uh, Russell School is pretty much empty also. Uh, looking to keep it the same, $350 just for any incidentals that may happen. North Hadley, uh, fire station. It was 3,500, uh, looking to go to 5,000, an increase of $1,500. Once again, uh, there is some service contracts for HVA in the building and uh, other systems that need to be maintained there. Uh, there is no custodial services there. It's done in-house by the fire department. Uh, the public safety complex was at twenty one thousand. We're looking to go to twenty eight thousand, increase to seven thousand uh, dollars. The building is getting a little older and does need more repairs. Custodial services are the same fourteen thousand four hundred. Uh, highway. Building maintenance was at nine thousand. We're looking to increase to ten thousand. Same thing. Uh, the building's just getting a little older, a little more to do and increase of things. Custodial services uh, was at forty eight. We're looking to go to five thousand. They uh, started cleaning another part of the building for us, so that's what. Where, where the increase came from. Uh, library building maintenance was at 4,300, uh, looking for 12,000 now. Uh, once again, I, I know it's a brand new building, but it's got a very complex HVAC system, uh, which we have a service contract for and uh, other uh, systems in the building uh, Gary has gotten service contracts for, for maintenance. So that's what those items are for. The, the custodial services are going to stay the same at 16,320. And for the grand total of building maintenance, the budget be $199,589. An increase of $20,713. Sorry. 
looks good. I don't have any questions. Does anybody have any questions on this? I do have a question actually about the new buildings, the senior center and the library, the, the contracts to do the, um, the maintenance of the, of the doors and the, the HVAC. Were those, were those expenses that we expected? Uh, yes. Uh, it's just something that comes along with those uh, kind of systems in those buildings. Uh, fil you know, air filter changes. Uh, they look at the air conditioning, heating equipment, and service any uh, serviceable items on that. It, it, it was an expense that was, uh, I, I, I'm a, I haven't asked Gary about it, but I'm sure it was in the thought when you when they built the buildings, there is maintenance that goes along with the systems. Mm -hmm. okay. That's curious, thank you. <clears throat> so we can uh, move along. I do, the one other thing I just, and I, it's not in this one, What? where will we hear about the, um, like the fuel and everything for all these buildings. What department, what budget is that one in? That's 190 of, uh, for all the buildings? No, like, yeah. like when I, um, the fuel I'll, I'll, yeah, it's, it's building maintenance under 190, yeah. Yeah. 193 maybe? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's not for all, it, no, it's 190. <laughs> But um, oh. I'm, not, I'm not sure it's for all the buildings. I'm not sure it covers the DPW. So I, so I was just going to flip over and see. But um, it is in other budgets. We decided uh, this one's kept to, to maintenance, inside and outside maintenance and, and uh, cleaning. And okay, uh, okay. because that's under DPW. And the okay. other is more related to paying the bills. And that's something that... <laughs> Town Hall is pretty good at, you know, gathering and, and uh, uh, so we have an issue with, oh, I can't even say how many electric electricity um, accounts we have, and fuel accounts, and there are just so many bills and they would come in and go into the different boxes and maybe they'd be in the right ones or the wrong ones, but then you'd wait for each department head, even if they went to the right ones, the department head then has to process it and get it back to the accountant. As it is now, we find it is much more efficient if it all comes into town hall. And uh, Jennifer then, who, who runs mostly runs the, um, the 190 account, then we'll have all these bills and process them at the same time and work with the account on, accountant on them if there's any questions about, you know, such as, um, if they're rebilling for something that was already paid. And, and so it's just, it's just better, uh, it's just more efficient this way, we think. So we're giving it a try. It's on page 33 of your budget book. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Sounds good. You wanna do cemetery now? Wanna move right over? There we are. All righty. Uh, cemetery salary, it's just the, uh, a part of his salary, it's just the increase of the uh, cost of living. Uh, the ground maintenance was at 13,680. Uh, we're asking for 16,000, an increase of $2,320. Uh, that contract is expiring June 30th. So we are going to be going back out to bid. So this may need to be looked at again in the fall to make an adjustment. That's for uh, spring and fall cleanup and mowings of the town cemeteries. Okay, sounds good. So what do we have left? We have- uh, That's it for general fund. fund. Yeah. Okay. So now we have the enterprise funds. We'll start with sewer. Uh, let me just fix these margins again. Okay. Okay. Is that good? Looks good. Okay. So, so once again, in the sewer salaries, uh, it's just been formulated for the cost of living wage increase 
uh, as stated before, uh, we are in contract negotiation. So depending where what happens with that, it's an unknown at this time for solid numbers. Uh, the electricity, uh, last year we asked for 79,800. Uh, we feel that where we're targeted right now, 70,000 should be enough to fund the electricity. Uh, heating looking to say that stay the same at 7,000. Uh, and that's another thing too. The, when we did these budgets was a few months ago and we didn't have this major uh, fuel crisis either at the time when this was done. Uh, the water and sewer uh, bills for our town water and sewer to those buildings uh, looking to stay the same at 3,000. Uh, vehicle maintenance and repairs in the sewer department. Uh, it was at 6,000. Uh, we've only spent about half, so we're thinking that we can uh, decrease that by 2,000 to 4,000. Uh, equipment repairs and maintenance, it was at $85,000. Uh, we feel we can drop that to 80,000, decrease of 5,000 for this year. That's for uh, pumps and motors and things of that nature, nature that go that with the sewer department. Property related services to say the same at uh, 2,800. Uh, other professional services, uh, which is uh, the sludge hauling and things that we outsource, uh, was 180,500. Uh, our current numbers look as if we can go to 147,500. Uh, decrease of 33,000. That what is that? The, the, did you say sludge hauling? Yeah, there's there's uh, hauling of our sludge uh, goes into that line item, uh, laboratory outsourcing, uh, things of that nature. The, the biggest expense to it is the uh, sludge hauling where our sludge gets hauled by a contractor to lull. And that's the biggest part of that budget. Okay, thank you. Can I just ask on that? Is that is it realistic with, with the cost of fuel? That yes, uh, there there is a there is an increase, Paul, coming okay. uh, for this coming year, but uh, we're feeling that that number will be good. It, it's in the past, as you can see, in uh, like twenty one, it was one hundred forty thousand. So it, it's, the, it looks like the line was pretty cushioned and we could probably, when we're feeling that we can get it uh, to a little more reasonable number. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. I have one yeah. question, Scott. Is that yeah. something that, uh, that we could do uh, with the anaerobic digester at Barstow's? Uh, I don't believe we can because this is, uh, I believe that digester there isn't capable of uh, taking this kind of sludge. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this has to go through more treatment and stuff. It goes the, actually goes the wall and they process it further there. Uh, legal services was at 2,800. Uh, we're looking to increase it to 3,000. That's just, uh, you know, as obvious as it says, legal services. Uh, police details for the sewer department. Uh, it was a, a thousand. Uh, we're requesting to go up on that. As you can see, we overspent it. Uh, depending on what kind of projects we have going for the sewer department. Uh, you know, uh, 
police details are are an expense to us. Technical support service uh, was a thousand. We're looking to go to two just because of the increase of uh, the price that it costs. Engineering services uh, was at forty five thousand. We're looking to go to thirty five thousand. Uh, Ten thousand less. Once again, uh, there's not uh, some of the stuff that we have going on it has already been engineered, so uh, the, we don't quite need the funding as much. Uh, once again, physical and drug testing. Uh, uh, they have uh, CDL licenses over there, and they need to uh, do that. We're looking for $500. Telecommunications, uh, staying the same at 12,000. So software licensing was at 46. We're looking to go to 2,500. Our target is uh, much lower than anticipated. Uh, I have a question supplies. about that. What's that? I have a question about that, Scott. Does yeah. that include the VADAR licensing for the sewer billing? We, we just need to make sure it has that because that uh, $1,236 figure that you can see that we've expended this year is the amount that is attributed to sewer uh, for the billing. I just want to make sure that didn't get lost in the process. I, I don't believe it did, Sue, because as you can see in the prior years, uh, the 4,500 looks like it was a uh, uh, oh, okay. little, little much of a number. That's, that's why we we're looking to decrease it. It, it was okay. I just saw the 2100 decrease, and I, I just yeah. wanted to make sure you weren't, you know, cutting off at the knees. Yeah, it just, it just, yeah, it just it seemed a number to be, seemed to be too high. Okay, good. Great job, Scott. Uh, office supplies, it was at 5,000. We're looking to drop it to 4,000. Uh, vehicle fuel. Uh, as you can see, we, we were at 3,500. We're looking to drop it to 3,000. Uh, we're kind of on target right now. That That's looking like a good number. But once again, depending on the pr price of fuel, it's going to may need to be adjusted. Uh, Source supplies. Uh, was at 12,500 where we can looking to decrease that to 12,000. Uh, uniforms, the state of same at 7,300. Uh, dues licensing, it, uh, it was at 5,000. It it's look, looks a little high of a number. So we're looking to decrease it by 5,500 to 4,500. Infrastructure maintenance uh, remain the same at 5,000. Uh, the, the next two, the loan uh, numbers, those were numbers given to me by Linda that uh, pays our loans and knows what we need for money on that. Right, and that again, we don't, uh, we, our next borrowing will be in June. So we won't know until then. Uh, we have some pretty large water and sewer amounts outstanding of it. Water and sewer authorized but unborrowed amounts. And we don't want to borrow any more than we need to. So it's going to be, uh, we won't be able to come up with an exact figure on that uh, until June. So that's probably one that's good for, um, for fixing again in the fall if we need to, because it's a pretty big swing. We have, um, 
Well, for the for the infrastructure on Route Nine, for what uh, for sewer, that's 120. Is you'll see a bigger difference in water. Uh, we 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 voted to approve 800,000 over 800,000 expenses there and over 120,000 in sewer. And between the two of them, if we borrowed the whole amount in June, that would be that would make a pretty big difference. However, we're hoping since the work begins in May that maybe we'll just be able to borrow a quarter of that. So um, we'll, we'll have to work on, we'll, we'll work on that and, uh, and make it as low as possible. Uh, the key is, the reason this matters is if we borrow it in June of this fiscal year, that means we have to pay it in the next fiscal year. If we even just wait until July, then we don't have to pay for it, uh, pay, make the first payment until FY24. And um, this is a case where, where waiting sometimes uh, helps us when we're uh, having concerns with water and sewer and making sure that, that we cover it. Also, this is something when we're looking at the debt and interest, you're gonna hear more about this going forward. This is predominantly in both water and sewer. That's payment for our infrastructure. <clears throat> So we're going to be relating this back to the, the infrastructure fees that are being charged on the water and sewer bills that um, uh, contrary to what some think that this is that the rates are just paying for the operational. Operational includes quite a chunk for infrastructure, which going forward when we're, as we're doing more and more work on these projects such as Route 9 and other sections of town, we're going to want to tie back into infrastructure. So I don't want to get lost down that path tonight, but I just kind of wanted to introduce this issue as we're looking at um, these budgets. Just a quick question when it talks about the infrastructure. So when we talked about South Maple and how that will need to be addressed down the road, we talked about that in capital. Will that we are we looking not will that be just staying in this budget not going to capital or you're going to try to deal with it out of here uh amy it's the same thing if we when we uh when you approve it in capital you're approving it to be paid out of water or sewer um reserves okay reserves. and then it ends up it shows up here okay so it Thank does you. come back. Now we do vote on them, even though you see a single amount here, what you're going to see, and um, I'm glad Dylan requested that um, the finance committee worksheet, which, which is the one that goes to town meeting. What, what you'll see on the on when we actually go to town meeting and voting on the water budget, there'll be one item for all of the water uh, or water and sewer expenses. And the next line will be water and sewer. I mean, I'm sorry. The next line will be principal and interest. So we do vote on those separately. So it's very easy to see um, in our voted budget, the amount that we're doing for debt and interest payment, which again, we've never talked about it as infrastructure, but because this is becoming an issue, we, we are going to work hard to relate that back and have people understand you know, what, it, what it is that there really is. Um, infrastructure fees are really being used for infrastructure, even though they're in the budget, so. We'll get, uh, there'll be more on that next week. Sounds good. But so that budget, other than possible increases there, Scott's brought that down by over 60,000. Good job, Scott. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I, I can't take all the credit. No, but but you and, and Stacy. And Jennifer have done a really thoughtful um, kind of paring down of of what needs to happen, and and that should be recognized. And it is good to meet you, Scott. Well, it, I, I appreciate you folks bearing with me. This is uh, obviously a, a new task that I'm doing here. I, this is my first time, so I, I appreciate your patience with me, also. And you're doing phenomenal. Woohoo. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Scott, for, for being your first time and your your budget's going down, everybody else's is going up. <laughs> <laughs> kind of... he, he's also conscious that this is a uh, that uh, what in discussions about water and sewer rates that are coming up, 
if we're going to be doing, uh, if we're looking at sewer and water rates in relation to how they cover the budget, you better have a good budget. Your, your budget might, might better really uh, be something that you need. And when we have years where we've had a lot of money returned from those budgets, if we're basing rates on the need for the increases that are requested, but that money's not really being spent, there's there's sort of a disconnect there and it's it doesn't it feels a little disingenuous sometimes we're so he has been working very hard to make sure that that this is a real a real budget and not without a lot of cushion in it Excellent. so now you're set up for water scott yeah uh once again the salaries are just based on uh the two and a half percent uh increase uh water, uh, electricity, uh, looking, it was 129,450. Uh, we're looking for just to round it up to 130,000 increase of 550. Uh, heating uh, in, the, in the water plant, uh, I'm not sure what you saw as far as the capital goes, but uh, we're looking to decrease this and hopefully uh, we're able to uh, do something with owning our propane tanks in the water plant and not leasing them. Uh, so we're able to do that. Uh, we're feeling that we could save a lot of money on fuel. Uh, the water and sewer was at 30,000, uh, look, it looks like we're going to request 23,000, a decrease of 7,000. Water building systems was at 18,000. We're looking to degree, decrease it to 13,000, uh, decrease of $5,000. Uh, vehicle repairs and maintenance, was at 7,000. Uh, we're looking to go to 5,000, uh, decrease to 2,000. Uh, the water department did uh, receive their uh, new truck. So there is a new one in the fleet. Uh, equipment repairs and maintenance uh, was at 40,000. We'll, we're looking to increase it to 55,000, increase of 15,000. Uh, once again, uh, just a lot of our things, uh, components, the prices have gone up in cost to maintain it. Uh, rental equipment uh, was at 6,000. Uh, we're looking to uh, decrease it to 5,000, uh, less, 1,000 less than what it was. Property related services to say the same at 400. Legal services stay the same at 2200. Advertising legal notices uh, and not sh uh, Linda, I'm I think this might be a typo. I wonder though, know. Scott, but look, there's nothing was spent. Nothing was spent. Nothing was spent. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's why we zeroed that. Yeah. We we okay. we couldn't come up with an explanation of yeah, that that's what that's, that's, have to, that's not they have to, be, sorry, they have, have to advertise a hearing for water and sewer rate increases. And that's probably what that was. Because it hasn't been done in a number of years, so. Ah, so we really don't know what it would cost, right? Well, it won't cost $1,300. No. Okay. <laughs> so. We'll find it in some Yeah, way. Okay. exactly. It can come out of legal. <laughs> uh, police details, uh, to say the same. Technical support services. Uh, was at 5,400. Uh, we're looking to increase it to 6,500, an increase of $1,100. Uh, 
uh, just the, our service rates have gone up. Uh, engineering services, uh, 60, it was at 68,000. Uh, we're looking to drop it to 60, less of 8,000. Uh, some of the things we're looking at uh, to do, we have funding in place already. Uh, once again, uh, the physicals and testing uh, was at 400. Uh, we're looking to go to 700 dollars and increase of 300 once again uh that's federal government guidelines we have to follow telecommunications that say the same at eleven thousand. uh once it, the software licensing uh was at nine thousand we're looking to go to 45 in the past years uh the nine thousand looks to be uh, uh, too much of a cushion, so we're feeling we can drop that down. Office supplies was at 3,800. We're looking to drop it to 3,000. Uh, once again, vehicle fuel was at 5,000. We put in 5,000 again, but uh, as we discussed, to be determined. Uh, Waterwork supplies uh, was at twenty thousand. We're looking for twenty thousand again. Uh, uniforms to say the same at eighty three hundred. Uh, dues and licenses uh, was at eight thousand. Uh, looking to decrease at the fifty five hundred, uh, less twenty five hundred dollars. It'll be uh, more on track of uh, what we've had spent in the prior years. Uh, infra infrastructure maintenance was at 98,000. Uh, we're looking to decrease it to 75,000, uh, 23,600 uh, less. Water equipment purchase. To stay the same at 15, or I'm sorry, to go to uh, zero. Uh, that's we, negative. Yeah, less we can figure 000. out the difference, right, between these two. Water equipment seemed redundant. Is that what we were talking yes. about? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then once again, the uh, the debt payments are numbers that Linda provided. And there's your, it's a $50,000 reduction in this budget too. Excellent. I have a question about the infrastructure maintenance. Uh, what in, which infrastructure are we talking about? Does this include like pipes under the ground, under Route 9? What, what infrastructure is it? Yes, that, that is the water infrastructure, all uh, the pipes, the fire hydrants, uh, the water tanks, things of that nature. How come it's going down so much? I'm just curious to know. Well, we're just looking at the past uh, couple of years, uh, like 21 in particular was at 70,000. Uh, we're just trying to, uh, we just didn't feel that we needed that kind of cushion in the budget. And uh, if we had to, it is uh, enterprise funded. So if we needed to make a adjustment there, it we can do it throughout the enterprise. Okay, great, thank you. Scott, isn't it we've had more articles that addressed some of the infrastructure needs? Yeah, we, we have done that also. Oh, uh, it's, it, but we also it's, had a number of emergency breaks. That, surprises. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That that hit this. So, yeah, and that seems to have been the last couple of years. Not so much the current year, although I, no, none. I don't think this year, but so, well, maybe one small, but. 
we had one in the middle of South Maple Street and Russell uh, the year that it was um, um, the actual was one hundred and nine thousand dollars. So that was that was pretty significant. So, so one, once again, it is one of those things that's kind of, uh, you know, hope hope and pray for the best, but obviously there is unforeseen with the water. I think it looks right. good. Looks great. Um, everything looks good here. Um, I don't have any questions on any of these. Questions. Oh, I'm all set. All set. Okay. Well, all right. Great job, Scott. Gotta right, love thank it. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you well, very then. much. All right. Um, so, uh, I mean, just talking about in general, water and sewer. Um, water has always been doing really well. Sewer for a while, we were really worried about it. How's it going now? I mean, with it, it still does not have the kind of reserves that water has. Um, let's think. I think we've got four hundred something in, in sewer reserves, but we have over a million in water reserves. And um, let's see. We um, have a couple of things that that we're discussing that can hopefully rectify that. When, so have we increased the um, water and sewer bills? I mean, I know we did one time we did. Uh, Not yet. Not yet? Okay. No, we're gonna be discussing it on April. We're gonna be bringing up the topic first um, on April 6th. And then if to move forward to have a public hearing, we'll be doing that. But right now it's gonna be discussion on an April 6th at the select board meeting, sorry, that's helpful. And any income that if, if it was a discussion and there was an increase, would that hit next, this, would that hit this budget or would that hit the following budget? Not until FY24. For, any, for revenue. any increase, um, the rate would hit, um, well, depending on when it's voted on. It, yeah. So uh, they, they did readings today. So that takes um, the May do June bill off the table because you cannot retroactively do a rate increase. So we would be looking at the November to December bill right now. So it would not be a full fiscal year. Um, and and that's, it, that's fine, but uh, we're looking at, I think a small enough rate increase if the infrastructure stays, um, we would do a small rate increase to sewer and um, and and split out the infrastructure between water and sewer accordingly. It, I think we'll be okay. But again, this is something that's going to be discussed at the select board meeting. Okay. So we think we've found that the debt and interest being paid on the uh, water and sewer infrastructure is about a ratio of two to one. Was that what the two? Uh, it's perfect. <laughs> Two <It> water, <laughs> well, two thirds water to one third sewer, and um, with the infrastructure fee being against the individual bills, and then the select board has the authority to allocate between water and sewer. So we have we have one stream of income coming in, but then the allocation out to the uses is is, is done by the select board each year. So this past year it was done for sewer because that is where the need was um and this current year we hope to align it more closely with actual infrastructure expenses as opposed to just where the 
need is for the operation, which is why um, Scott's getting the budgets back, uh, more closely in line with actuals as opposed to let's make sure we've got large enough budgets to cover any eventuality. Um, we, we just really can't do that while also trying to justify um, infrastructure fees and, and increase rates. Um, we just, especially when each of them has a reserve fund that can be used if needed. So we're, we're trying to strike that balance, all, all, all of us really, and going ahead, going forward, trying to work on striking that balance between what we can handle and what, what needs to be, uh, what we need increases for. Sounds good. All right. Well, this is the only topic for tonight. It was a big so, one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you have a lot. You have the <laughs> the most line items, Scott, I have to say, out of all the budgets. <laughs> it crosses three funds with seven budgets. <laughs> and you did a great job, Scott. <laughs> Thanks. That's right. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. You need a motion? Yes, please. Motion to this, uh, adjourn rather, sorry. Second. All in favor? All right. Hi. Good night, everybody. Good night, Carolyn. All right. See you Thursday. Good night. Same right. time, same station. Hit the red button. <laughs>